Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so now we're just going to go ahead and get started with um, working with the Strava API in JavaScript and HTML. Um, so first I should preface by saying that it's not a good idea, it's very poor practice to have any API credentials or keys or tokens inside a client app like this, this JavaScript, because it's going to be exposed um, in the browser. But for now, I think it's okay. We're just testing to make sure we can get this working. Um, so what I have here is a just a basic boilerplate HTML page and if you look at it, it just says hello and I have it in the console saying hello YouTube. Um, so that's um, basically this JavaScript page is doing that. So once you have all this set up and running, let's just go ahead and get started. So what we need to do is we need to make a fetch request or a get request to this link right here. Um, so I'm just going to paste this in here for reference and what we're going to do is just make a function called get activities and we're going to make a variable and set it to um, activities link and we're going to set it equal to this. Later on we're going to dynamically change this token here um, but for now, since we still know this is a valid token, we, we, uh, we can get away with this for now. Alright, once we have that, we're going to use something called fetch. And this is built into JavaScript. It just allows us to make a request. So we're going to fetch the activities link. And then once that responds with something, then take the response. Actually we can just for now we can just say console.log. Actually we'll say then what do you want to do with the response? We want to console.log the response. So these are, this is a callback function, which I'm not a professional web developer, so this is always a little confusing to me, but basically JavaScript's asynchronous, so while this is fetching, other things are happening, so it's going to wait, or it's not going to wait, but once this returns with something, then it's going to do something. So if um, you need more information on how callbacks work, um, just Google them. Um, I'm not going to go into them in this video because we're just trying to get the Strava API working. So, uh, if we try running this, let's see what we get. So, F12. We don't get anything, and that's because I didn't actually run this get activities. Alright. Okay, it didn't like this. Something's wrong with it. You know what, I think we need to that might be it. Okay, there we go. So we need to we had to return it JSON. But basically this is all the information, so this is good. So once we have this in JavaScript, you know, we can do a lot of things that we can display it in here if we want, but for now, um, this is the basics of what we need to get it running. Um, so it's not too bad, it's pretty clean looking. Um, the only problem is this access token is going to expire. So we need to make another function that gets run before this to basically authorize um, and make sure we're, we're using a, um, a valid access token. So I'm going to make a new um, function and what we're going to do is we need to go back to this refresh token request. Now this is what we're going to have to run every time uh, we access our page here. So we're going to make a variable called off link and set it equal to just this portion. So if we cut that, and paste.
paste it in there. You'll notice we have this information, which also has to get passed. But we do that in the fetch request here. So we're going to say fetch. So again, we're just making another request, the same as we did in Postman. We're just doing it in JavaScript now. So we're going to fetch the authorization link. And then we're going to we have to supply it with a little bit more information. So before, we didn't have to give it this information, but I think that's probably because a get is the default mode. But since we want to do a post here, we need to say post. We also need to pass in these headers. And I'm not sure why, but I could not get it to work without passing this information and so I'm just going to copy this. I have it up on a different screen here. I'm going to copy it to save us a little time. Um, just put that in. Not quite sure what that is for, but it's necessary. Um, and now we have actually have to supply it with the body and this is where we give it all of this information. So say body and then we're going to use json.stringify and in here, we are going to get a little room here. Um, we're going to populate it with basically this information. So I'm going to copy from my other window here, paste this in. And what we need to do is just update this with our info. So if I cut that, paste that client secret. Remember this is poor practice to include it like this. Normally you would send this to a server and make the request to the server, but um, this is just, just to get us up and running. Refresh token. Alright, so we can get rid of this. Okay, so we have the refresh token. So basically, once we make this request, let me clean this up a little bit. Um, so let's just print out what this is going to give us back. So same as we did up here, let's just copy this. So paste that. That looks right. Let's just comment that out even though it's not going to get called. Just to make it very clear what we're doing. So now let's run this reauthorize. Alright, let's go take a look at this. Okay, we get this promise here. Okay, so if we refresh this expires and expires that. So these numbers should be changing. Can we just do that? No. Dot JSON. Okay, let's go back here. And you'll see expires in so one eight four one one. If we refresh that should be changing. Yep. So now we have to give, um, now that we get this response, we're going to pass whatever access token it gives us to this next function. So we have this activities function. So instead of having the access token hard coded, we're actually going to pass this um, response to this function. So let's keep this like this, remove that. Oops. Get activities. Oops, don't need that.
what it doesn't like about this that then yeah we don't need this all right so basically we're getting the response to putting it in JSON and then we are passing it to the get activities function up here so we need to get ready to um, accept that response in this function and basically we're just going to the access token here we're going to make this a variable using I think they're called template strings or template literals um, and you do that by dollar sign um, curly braces and we're just going to say response dot access token now actually this might be a little confusing so let me see how much time we have left it's 11 minutes if I just say Before we do this, let's just console.log what that looks like. Okay. So that's what it looks like. So what we're interested in is access token. So what we can do here is say we can access just the access token if we want by doing that. So if we go here, that's what we want. So that's the string that we need to pass right here. So if I do that, get rid of this, uh, we need to make this a template string. So you do that by using the like tick signs that are um, below the escape or to the left of the number one. Um, so now it's going to run this. It's going to run the authorize, get the access token. Or it's actually passing the entire response to this function and then out of this response it's picking out the access token and building this URL. And then um, we're going to fetch the activities like just like we did before but we're using this now dynamic access token. So if we run this we should expect to see our activity. Okay. Alright, there we go. Now this is what we did earlier but what's cool about this is we're running this first. So if there is an expired token it's going to use the it's using the refresh it's always using the refresh token to get whatever up-to-date token it needs so if it's not expired it's going to use the current token if it's expired it's going to use this refresh token to get a new one um, so there you go that's how we do it in JavaScript it might be a little confusing but it, it's actually pretty clean with this fetch um, and hopefully that makes sense um, if you have any questions just let me know put them in the comment section and I'll try my best to uh, make it a little bit clearer but I know this is kind of funky and especially these uh, callback functions they they get a little hairy um, but yeah thanks for watching